We're going to test the three phase bridge, the motor IGBTs, and the brake for short circuits. So, first we put our black lead on P, red lead on R. We should have a good diode drop. There we have one of 0.451. Move the red lead to S, diode drop of 0.445. Red lead to T. Dial drop of 0.458. Now let's check the IGBTs. Move your red lead to U. It's 0.369. V. 0.372. W. 0.371 dial drop. So far, so good. Now, move your red lead to RB. And dial drop a point. 554. That's our regenerative braking transistor right there. Now we're charging up the bus cap. I've moved the red lead to N. That's bus ground. Now I'll drop a point six four six. Alright now keep the red lead on N. Now the black lead on R. 0.38. Here's S. 0.451. That's good so far. That's our three phase bridge on R, S, and T. Move the black lead to T. 0.444. Our three phase bridge is good. All six diode drops good. Move the black lead to U. Diode drop of 0.370. That's good. Move the black lead to V, 0.371. Move the black lead to W, 0.373. Our IGBTs are good. Our six IGBTs are good. Now move the black lead to RB. We got a dial drop of 0.551. Everybody is good. We can fire this drive up and see what it does. up our 220 line voltage to RS and T. up our potentiometer. One wing of the potentiometer goes to H. The wiper goes to O. The other wing of the potentiometer goes to L. up a run forward switch. One end of the switch goes to FW for forward. There's another L terminal over here. The other side of the switch goes to that L terminal. There we go. There's our switch. I'm going to enable that drive to run with the enable switch. We're going to look at U, V, and W. Here's U to V. That looks real good. Let me move the camera over in front of the oscilloscope and you'll get a better view of what's going on with U, V, and W. Let me disable this drive and I'll move the camera over. Give me a little bit to move that camera. Okay, let's enable the drive to run again. Now we're looking at UV and W unloaded. The 
slow down a little bit. You can see the PWM, the pulse width modulation between U and V. Now when I run the frequency up, there's 266 hertz right there. That's full on. Look at that. Let's go to U and W. Slow it down. Here's V and W. They all look good. They should all look the same. Now this is a spindle drive, so I'm going to hook up the light bulb bank to UV and W. The light bulb bank will simulate the spindle motor. Let me disable that drive with the switch. Now we're stopped. Okay. what the display looks like. Over here is what the frequency pot set to right now. I can change that frequency with the potentiometer. Over here is the output frequency to the motor. I just enabled it with the enable switch. Okay, I'm changing the frequency with the potentiometer. There we go. We got a good run and drive.
just stop the motor. We're going to turn the line voltage off. There we go. Okay, we'll unbuckle it and put the lid on it. Thank you very much for stopping by. We'll see you next time.